So now we're going to move to the bases, and the first type of base we're going to do is a strong base, a third type of rock. So in this one, it's asking us to determine the pH and the pOH of a 0.0112 molar barium hydroxide solution. So now we know barium hydroxide is a strong base. That's our first clue. Remember, it is a um, alkaline earth metal plus an hydroxide, right? A definition of our strong base. So from here, we're gonna, let's, we can start with either pH or pOH, um, but let's start with the information we have given. We have 0.0112 molar barium hydroxide. So remember from our rules, 0.0112 molar will equal the concentration of barium hydroxide, right? But that means that the hydroxide concentration is going to be two times that number because we have two of them, right? And so we're going to multiply our molarity by two. And that is simply going to be... So don't forget that the alkaline earth strong bases have this 2, and that 2 has to be accounted for in the OH concentration when we do our molarity. But after that, the problem is still the same. So we have OH concentration. Now there's several ways we can work it. To get to the first way to get to pH, we're going to need is the negative log of hydronium, right? And pOH is negative log of OH minus. So we know those definitions. Now, right now, if you wanted to find pOH, we could simply take negative log of 0 0.0224, and that would give us pOH, um, and that would be around 3.72. We can also keep going and work it another way to find, and then we could take, if we have pOH, we can take pH, we know is going to be 14 minus that number because we know 14 has to equal the sum of those numbers. So pH, when we go from there, is simply going to be 14 minus 3.72, and that's when we get the 10.28. That is one way to work the problem. Another way to work the problem is we could have taken, P, instead of going to pOH directly, we could have taken KW divided by OH concentration to get hydronium H plus concentration. Because remember, concentration of O minus times A plus equals KW. We could have solved for H plus concentration there, and that would have been 4.464 times 10 to the negative 13 molar when we solved for this. And then we could have taken to get pH negative log of that hydronium. So it's going to be negative log of and our number would have still been the same. 10.28 would have been pH. Then we would have done pOH with 14 minus 10.28. 3.72. Both of these ways are valid ways of working the problem and you can choose whichever way is easier for you. But remember, this is a strong base, so we don't have an ice table or a Ka value for either method.